Hey guys, welcome to video number two. This is Micro CMS version one. This is rated as an easy difficulty and there's four flags. I actually can't remember what I did for this one, so I'm going to attempt this one again. Let me just let's just do a right click, copy image location, and let's take that back here and then what we'll do is we'll edit this in fact let's just go back see if that saves and there we go so we can edit someone else's post we can actually enter our own image and actually save it to the page so there's a big security vulnerability in itself, but we don't get a flag for that. So try page three, four, five. Oh, okay, on five, it says we are forbidden. We don't have access to the requested resource. It's protect, read protected or not readable by the server. Okay, so we know that page five seems to have something interesting on so we can't edit the page let's see if we can create a new page and let's type in hello and hit create okay so we can create a brand new page let's see whether we can go to page five here okay we can't seem to do that unfortunately so let's edit the page. Let's see if we can access it through an edit. And there we go. So we've got uh, a flag there. So that's the private page that we couldn't see earlier. Uh, let's just go on the hints. I can't remember. Uh, make sure you tamper with every input. So I can't remember which flag that one was that we've just found. Okay, so the first flag, flag zero, try creating a new page, how are page indexes, look at the sequence IDs. So I think that flag that we just found was flag zero. Flag one, uh, tamper with every input, make sure you've tested, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, I'm trying to think what I did for this one. Oh yeah, I think, so I think this one was, uh, it was an image source, so I think it was something along the lines of, so if you go to the OWASP uh, sort of cheat sheet, and it's the SRC. I think we use this one. Possibly. If not, we can always edit it. But let's try this one. Uh, script alert. In fact, let's change it to on error. Possibly this one. Maybe this was. Uh, maybe this was it. Okay. And then if we do a inspect element. Maybe it wasn't this one. There was a challenge. Maybe I've got the syntax wrong, but there was a challenge where it would actually populate with a flag. But I can't remember how I got that to work. I think it was an error. 
I'm sure, or maybe on load. Let me just, uh, let's go and use this one and we'll try and edit this so it's a little bit. So let's edit the page. Let's get rid of that one. So, an error. Let's see if this does the trick. In fact, I don't think we that should work. Okay, so we get a cross-site scripting pop-up. Okay, so we've tried some cross-site script in there, SQL injection, path injection. Form submissions aren't the only inputs that come from browsers. Script tags are great, but what other options do you have? Okay, so let me just try entering this in here. And there we go. So when we actually go back, we get the flag. Okay. So that's, that's that one. So I think that was the, that might have been flag two. Flag three, we might skip flag one because uh, I'd have to spend a bit of time looking at that one. Flag three, uh, script tags are great, but what other options do you have? Yeah, like I said, I think it was, I thought I used an on error tag. Let's just check that. Uh, Yeah, maybe it was this one. Maybe I thought we tried this one before. Oh, maybe I messed up the syntax, possibly. I might have messed up the syntax because I don't think I added a, uh, ended the tag properly. So let's create a brand new page. And then if we look on the inspect elements, there we go. So we've got the flag. Yeah, that's what it was. I didn't finish the uh, tag off correctly. Uh, but that, that's how that one solved. And yeah, I can't remember what the the answer for flag one was. Make sure you tamper with every input. Bugs often occur when an input should have been one type and turns out to be another. Remember, form submissions aren't the only inputs that come from browsers. So the kind of key to this one was making sure that we had the correct uh, payload. That's always quite an important, important thing when we're doing these vulnerability tests. Uh, the key thing is it did seem to, you know, to bring out some quite important, uh, quite important errors, quite important bugs. I'm just trying to remember what the. what it was for flag number one. So make sure you, t I don't really want to finish the video without doing this one, so make sure you've tested for the usual culprits. Uh, we've not tried SQL injection, so maybe we could try and, uh, and look for that. 
So if we go back to uh, edit, go back to edit, okay, so we've got that flag ready. Uh, markdown test. View the image info. Okay, so that was the that was the image that was coming from the page. Exif here, yeah, well, there's no exif information. we can restart the challenge. I might come back to that one and restart this one so we can actually get all of the flags but for now uh, that'll, that'll do. So thanks for watching guys and we'll be back in the next one.